speaker will be our Marine Parade candidate, Ms. Ha Ting Ru. Suki, Lu Hobo. 各位惹兰雾沙区域的居民们，来自各地的新加坡朋友们。晚上好。今天晚上很高兴看你们来出席我们工人党第二次的群众大会。我是何庭如，是马林百列局选区的候选人。谢谢。今晚我会用英文跟大家讲话。Good evening. Residents of Jalan Besar and fellow Singaporeans, my name is He Tingru, and I am a Workers' Party candidate for Marine Parade GRC. First, a bit about myself. I grew up in Singapore before moving to England for university, where I completed my undergraduate studies at the University of Cambridge. I stayed in England to attend law school in London, before training and working in an international law firm in both London and Frankfurt, Germany. In 2011, after living overseas for almost a decade, I felt my roots tugging me and came home to Singapore. 2011, as we all know, was a year of change for Singapore. And the rallies. I followed the election through the internet. Like many of us, I rejoiced at the Workers' Party winning the first GRC in our unit. It was a positive sign that our country's political system was maturing, even as we approached our golden jubilee. As someone who just returned home, I was also struck by how much my country had changed by how crowded it was, by how expensive everything became. I was struck by the worries, hopes, and dreams that Singaporeans had for their future, the future of their children. And I was deeply moved by the love for their country that Singaporeans had, both PAP and opposition supporters alike spurred on by the message that each one of us can contribute to our country and community, I decided to volunteer with the Workers' Party. I started helping residents weekly at the Meet the People sessions in Paya Lebar, which is part of our Junit GRC. In the past four years and three months, I found myself learning about my country anew, about the concerns and problems faced by my fellow Singaporeans, it has been a deeply humbling experience, and I have learned so much from fellow volunteers and residents. I watch residents sharing makeshift shelters from cardboard cartons during an Aukang Bai election rally when they were caught by a sudden thunderstorm. I saw the enthusiastic hard work by fellow volunteers stepping forward to organize a successful food distribution session. Most importantly, I also learned that there is much for us Singaporeans to be proud of, despite of the worries we sometimes feel about our future. When I decided to run for Member of Parliament, many of my friends and family were extremely worried. They asked me about the impact it will have on my family, my career, about whether I will get fixed. I understood their concerns. In fact, I had the exact same thoughts myself. But then, I asked myself three questions. One, do I believe that it is healthy for Singapore to have a handful of people from the same political party deciding what is best for our country? Two, do I want a future for my country where my children dare not responsibly disagree with the government and speak their mind because they are afraid of being fixed? Three, do I think that our current policies and policy-making processes are perfect, that there is no need for improvement, 
that nothing needs to be done for Sing nothing more needs to be done for Singaporeans, especially vulnerable Singaporeans. The answer for each one of them was no. As a young Singaporean, I have my ideas about what should be my nation's path. I do not want a future where our leaders tell us what to do, what to think, where our people, and a, a future where our people spend so much time worrying about how much the CPF minimum sum will increase this year, worrying about whether the trains will break down on our way to a crucial job interview, or worrying about whether we have to end up waiting for hours or days in a hospital corridor for a bed to be available for us or our loved ones. Instead, I want a future where we see more citizens involved in deciding our own future, a future where we pay close attention to vulnerable groups and a destiny where we promote access to opportunities for all. There is no more direct way of effecting that change for Singapore than running for parliament. As my colleague Daniel Goh said last night, life is too short to be kiasu, kiasi, and kiakwe. We must overcome that fear. We may be up against an impressive machinery from the PAP, but I believe that together, we can build a Singapore, a future that we can be proud of, that our children can be proud of. The government's job is not to fix the opposition. The government's job is to do its job well. I decided to run for parliament because I think the government can do better and all of us can and must help them do so. With your support, the Workers' Party will help the government do better. Having made that decision, it is an honour and a privilege to be standing here today. With your continued support, I am confident that we in the WP will be able to serve our fellow Singaporeans and residents well. Come 11th of September, I would like each one of us to ask these three questions. One, do we want more different voices to be heard in Parliament? Voices representing what you have to say. Two, do we want our children to be able to speak out responsibly without fear because they disagree with the government? Three, do we want to live in a country which empowers our citizens to create a society which looks out for the vulnerable, where our elders are active, healthy, and our children are not weighed down by the pressure to succeed at all costs? I hope the answer is yes to all of these questions and that you would want more voices, no more fear in speaking out, and a compassionate society for all Singaporeans. Please play your part by voting for us because we believe that together we can achieve a better future for Singapore. Vote for the Workers' Party to empower the future of our children. Vote for the Workers' Party to empower your future. Thank you.